know, right about here in the ground is where the well is. This one has one 400 foot twister well for a four ton unit. So a twister has eight pipes that go down the well. Uh, four go down and then four come back. So it's still in progress, so we're doing the duct work right now. So in the mechanical room here, we have the uh, water furnace 5 series geothermal unit and the duct work. That's the return there on the, uh, on the left and then we have um, turning vanes in that fitting and then I do 45s for better airflow on the return size correctly with the duct design you know that's the silver bubble wrapped insulation for the supply um, we're still working on it but that's the flow center with those two circulator pumps on top that goes to the ground loop and that'll transmit the ground fluid, which is ethanol, to the connections on the bottom, those brass fittings on the left, and then also on the ones on the right there. And then this smaller unit right there is because the domestic hot water. So that's a dedicated geothermal heat pump for domestic hot water that we're using. So then this job makes it a little difficult, but the ductwork is 12 and a half feet in the air because the ceilings are 12 and a half feet. And then let's show you the ductwork. This is our table we use to wrap everything and Mastic, we use this uh, duct seal mastic to uh, seal everything so there's no air leakage. And then up there, see there's a supply, the soap bowl wrapped, and the return doesn't have to be wrapped because it's in conditioned space. That's closed cell spray foam up there. So then we got return there. And then I have some ductwork clear. In the kitchen area, we also have this ductwork with our supplies. out here and then we have to still finish insulating those supplies up there and then up there there's also in the slab there is radiant so if the homeowner wants to we can hook up that domestic hot water unit to radiant to, to heat the floor. And then up here is the final ductwork. And that's, uh, so it's all done. It made a challenge, a little bit of a challenge on this one because the trusses weren't even all the way across. So we had to do small offsets to overcome that, um, like up there. There's a little offset um, over here, that's where it is, right there. And then I have low returns down here for the, in the bedrooms. So that way we pull air from the bottom and also there's returns on top. So that's a low return. And then there's a high return up there for the, uh, this is the bedroom hallway area. The same throughout the rest of the house.
I got it. Those are the HRV exhaust and intake. Comes out of there, up top. That's where we're doing it. Um, they'll be painted black later on to match the siding, so you won't even see them. Okay, so the water goes in through the flow center on this pipe and comes back out to go outside on this one because I'm just flushing it with some filling it and flushing it with water first before I hook up the flush cart which I'll do the final flush and here there's three way valves that you can turn so that I can either flush the ground loop which is down flush the or flush the uh, geothermal units which is up or you can flush both of them Right now, I'm at the stage where I'm flushing both of them because I already did the other part. And I burp the pumps, that's the key thing. You open that screw and a little bit of water comes out, as you see there. That, because these are ceramic shaft circulators, they the water keeps them cool. And this is a Geolink adapter um, style flow center. And then just to get it to test it, I hooked up the thermostat here because they're doing drywall in the house and I just wanted to, or they're gonna start doing drywall. So I wanted to test the system first. And then that's the five series water to air system. And then over here is a Right there, that smaller unit on the floor is the water to water heat pump that's doing their domestic water. So this tank is their domestic water tank. And then this is the, the super heater tank. So when the five series water to air system here is running in heating or cooling, it preheats your hot water. And that's through these lines here. So they go up and over and down to that tank, which the plumber has to do the final tie-in, so he hasn't done that yet. As you can see, this is the water coming out of the ground loop right now. So I'm just flushing it with domestic water for now. I'll use the flush cart later to get all the micro bubbles out. And then I will uh, put the ethanol antifreeze in the ground loop. 